Welcome back everybody to the channel. Today we've got some more Unbroken Bonds. It has been a minute since I've opened this up, it feels like. I mean the set didn't come out that long ago. I've just been opening up a bunch of other crap. Um, I have my Japanese packs come in and I had some uh, cheap cards I bought from the store and I thought to myself, you know what, I'm seeing everybody get this Rainbow Rare Charizard. I'm seeing everyone get, what is it, Green's Exploration. I mean, I'm seeing all of these good cards getting pulled out, and I don't have really any of them. I've got some of the GXs, but I don't have many of them at all. And I mean, I'm I'm far behind the times, so I'm very, very excited to get into this thing, man. It's just, I, I'm so excited to open this. I, I haven't done this in weeks, and that Rainbow Rare Charizard is going to be mine one day. I know that's everybody's objective, but y'all, I will pull this crap. I, I mark my words, I will pull that Rainbow Rare Charizard if it's the last thing I do. I hope to do it before the new set comes out. I, th I think the new set comes out in, um, what is it? Uh, I think it's, I think it's August. Maybe, let's see. We will start with the right side and we will see what we get out of there. We did some little voodoo magic to see which one we should use. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the new set comes out in August, and I really, really, really want to have that Rainbow Rare Restroom Charizard before the new set comes out, because then, when the new set comes out, I'll be after different cards. I mean, I'll be after, hopefully, the Stained Glass card makes it to the English version. I know it's in, um, uh, what's it called? Shoot. Uh, Sky Legends in Japanese, the one that I opened up recently, um was a Sky Legends booster box on my channel. Go check out the video if you haven't yet. It's got some really cool cards in it, but I mean, once that new set comes out, is what I'm saying, I won't, I won't be wanting to look for the other ones anymore. Um, so let's get into it, y'all. I'm already opening while I'm talking, but we have a Fidget Spinner. We've got a Glammeow eating a Finneon. We got the Diglett with the Giovanni background, a Poliwag. Inke is always hovering. This Inke is always flying. I don't, I don't, I guess, I don't understand. We got a Tentacool, a Licky Licky is the Reverse Hollow, and that is a Reverse Hollow Rare, and our first Rare of the opening, everybody! Oh, so anticlimactic. We have a Hypno Rare. Not bad, but not great. And we will move on to the Reshiram Charizard card art, second pack in our opening. Um... Yeah, if, uh, thank y'all for watching these videos. It really means a lot. I really enjoy making Pokemon card opening videos. I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I, I just started a couple months ago, so I'm finally fulfilling my destiny to become a Pokemon Master. Here is a Kogus Trap. It is a very good supporter card. We have a Power Plant. Charge a Bug. We got a Litten, y'all. Look at the Litten little kitten. Catterday is actually a good, really... Really good uh, ability. You, know, you draw a card, but your Pokemon goes to sleep. But, I mean, every turn you get to flip a coin. If you flip heads or something like that, you wake back up. There's Tangela with the red shoes. Hacky Sack Oddish, everybody. There is the Hacky Sack. We have a Wooper, a Metal Core Barrier. I think I have this in Secret Rare form. But, nonetheless, this is a really good card for a, uh, a Metal-type deck. Um, my deck was Mel Metal Lucario at the pre-release tournament, and I won all but one match. And Metal Core Barrier helped me out a lot. Um, so yeah, there's my spiel for that. And the second rare of the open. Oh my god, y'all! We've got a Lucario and Mel Metal GX full art card. I do not have this card yet. Beautiful condition. My one thing about Unbroken Bonds is the cards are beautiful. Like, they have no dings, no nicks. They come almost minty fresh, y'all. But look at that card art. Holy crap, the texture is even nice. I have not pulled this card yet. I am very, very excited. Oh, that is so fresh. I actually don't even have a Mel Metal Lucario at all. Like, I don't have the full art. I don't have the... Well, now I have the full art, but I don't have the regular GX. I don't have the Rainbow Rare GX. So, that's the first one I've ever pulled. Off to an awesome start for this opening. Full art Mel Metal Lucario. Oh, that is so great. I don't know the prices of these cards off the top of my head, but as always, I will put them in the bottom of the screen when the editing process comes to be. There is a code card. I hope you all get something fantastic. Uh, please share the code cards if you can. Be nice to the others. Pukamuku, Hacky Sack Form, Fire Crystal, good card. Weepin' Bell, we got a Coughing. They use Coughing as his Pokeballs over there in the Team Rocket organization. They're just an odd bunch of folks. 
We have a zoo bat, the flower head person, Jigglypuff. We have Bell Sprout. I think Jigglypuff takes the name of Flower Boy now instead of Ralts. Ralts used to be the Flower Boy. We have a Rhyhorn Reverse Holographic, and the rare is a Doug Trio. Looking at you all smug. He finna eat your ass. And now, look at this. We have the Mel Metal Lucario card art to match our full art card pool. Let's see what we can do. I'm really hoping this box is a, has a lot of pulls in it. You know, some boxes only have like five or six, but I Oh, did I just? Oh no, I think I hurt. Okay, it only did it to the first two cards. That's fine. I uh, I scraped the card with my nail, so I, I kind of messed up the code card. Um, yeah, but I, I really hope this box has more than five hits in it. D Evolution Spray Z, Toga Tick, Sand Shrew Greatness back on the sand. We got a Murkrow, Oddish. Um, people are having a hard time, I think, pulling good cards out of this set. Misdrevious. Salandit, we have a Porygon Reverse Holographic, and the rare, ladies and gentlemen, will be a Persian GX, the Angry Little Kitty. I have this card, but it's always nice to pull another GX card. It just makes an opening when you pull GX cards, doesn't matter what they are. And I, I think Persian GX is the least, um, least expensive GX card out of the set, least sought after. Um, along with Honchkrow GX, uh, I think people even want Honchkrow GX more. Uh, in my opinion, I wanted it more. Um, I, I think Honchkrow GX, I have that in full art or rainbow rare form. I, I can't remember. It's been so long, y'all, since I've opened up this set. Um, I don't remember what cards I have. I don't remember any of that kind of stuff. Koga's Trap. We have a d d Dust Island, not a Desert Island. Do Duo. Rhyhorn, we have a Meltan, Spiro. This uh, set seems to be Lickitung. It seems to be, you know, revolved around a lot of fire and metal type acceleration of energy and uh, card playing and stuff like that, uh, which is kind of cool. You know, we saw a lot of love to the electric type in the last one, electric and grass. Now we get fire and metal. We have an Aeron as the reverse holographic, and the rare is a Butterfree. So nothing too crazy over here. Uh, I will do this uh, like I do all my other booster boxes. I will do one side in one video and one side in the other video. Um, let us see what we have here. I am very excited actually to open this. Pharaoh, we have a Graveler, Metal Core Barrier, Rattata. We better get that Reshiram Charizard, y'all. I don't care what form I get it in, I just want one. Darumaka, Salandit. Snorlax, I like this, the Pikachu's in the back of this Snorlax card, it's a really cool looking card. We have Snorlax as a reverse holo rare, and we have on the end, for the rare, we have a, ooh, a Greninja and Zorark GX card. I like this because it's got the slash down the middle and it's like they're two little ninjas killing people. And they got the little water shuriken, Greninja's ready to fuck somebody up, you know, but um, yeah, nonetheless, really cool pool. We've gotten three good cards already. This is crazy. I mean, this, I think we're not, we're not even halfway through the first stack, y'all. And this stack is loaded. We have another code card for y'all back home. And we have one, two, three to the front. And we will take off the energy card, which was a dark energy fairy charm. Poliwhirl, he's hooraying over there. De Evolution Spray Z, Rattata. Getting some berries in his hole. Y'all, I'm sorry I keep hitting the camera. Goldeen, Alolan, Diglett, the Alfalfa Man, Slowpoke taking a bath in a hot tub. We have another Litten Art. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. The Cleffa eating the sucker. I mean, it's just like a child, you know? You got a little Swablu figure. He's got all kinds of little jelly beans and shit. His oddish pot plant. Who knows? It could be a grown freaking adult Cleffa. You know, who knows Pokemon ages? Nobody knows Pokemon ages. Anyway, Cleffa's eating a sucker, and the rare on the end is a holographic Landorus. I, that's actually a really cool card. I like that one. Uh, we've gotten two white code cards in a row, which is actually really nice. I'm so glad you can't map these boxes anymore. You used to be able to map them, so whenever you hit a white colored code card, you would then be able to count two packs from the white colored code card, and then look at the third one, and you would have a Porygon 2, not really, but you would have another white colored code card. So, uh, basically, 
Shop owners would steal all the good cards. The, un the unhonest shop owners. Ghastly. We have a Gligar. A Spritzy. We have a Porygon. Holographic in the reverse form. And the card. On the back, ladies and gentlemen, will it be that Reshiram and Charizard? The world may never know until now. One, two, three, we have, oh, a Venomoth GX freaking rainbow rare card. It is a not the best rainbow rare card, but nonetheless, it is really good. I have this card already, so this will be my second Venomoth rainbow rare. Oh, googly eyes, rainbow rare, Venomoth bug looking thing. So, that, we have four cards already, y'all. This is, unless the, the rest of these 18 packs, or these 20-something packs are just complete shit, we might actually get eight really good pulls out of this thing. And I've never seen two rainbow rares come out of the same booster box, but it's always time for something new, you know? You never know. Um, I think we still have a full art trainer to get. Martial Arts Dojo, Aaron, Sandshrew Greatness back on the sand, Ghastly, we have a Tangela, Venonat, Sandile, Reverse Holographic, and the rare on the end is an Agron, a really actually good rare card to get. It is a good card in a metal deck. You could use it with a Mel Metal Lucario or, uh, you know, Mel Metal Lucario and even a, uh, um, put an Agron in that deck and have a good old metal deck, but you really don't want to run one type because you you might get messed up really fast. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Raticate Bear and his big old fangs. We got a Lieutenant Surge Strategy, Samson Oak, Caravana, a Togepi, Esper taking a nap. This one knows Catterday also, just like the Litten. We have a Squirtle, a Rhyhorn, Oddish in the reverse holographic form, and the rare on the end is a holographic Volcanion. This was actually one of the pre-release promos. All it was was it was stamped Unbroken Bonds right there. Um, you got it in your, uh, you know, in the, in the, the Build and Battle deck box kits uh, whenever you went to your pre-release at your local card shop. So, one, two, three, to the front, and we will take off the lightning energy. Electromagnetic radar. We have a Cleffa, again, eating the sucker. Giovanni the Exile. He's been exiled for a while. Caterpie. A Clefairy. A Poliwag. Ekans. Look at the Ekans and all the flashiness beside him. I don't know what's happening. Drowsy, sitting in a tree, just chilling. K-I-S-S-I-N-G, yeah, cool. We have a Ghastly as the Reverse Hollow, and the Rare on the back is an Arbok. So nothing too bad. We've already got four GX cards, can't really complain. By far the best pull, y'all, out of this whole set, or out of this whole box, is the Mel Metal Lucario Full Art so far. Um, I really hope to get at least one Reshiram Charizard that would make the whole entire opening, even if it's a regular GX form. I don't really care. Molane, he's a good, a um, uh, what's it called, full art trainer card. Giovanni's Exile, the Purple Nerds, Dusk Stone, a Faroki, Crab Brawler, Oddish, we have a Squirtle, a Tentacool, Spiro as the Reverse Hollow, and the rare on the back is a Seeking Bearing Its Asshole. So uh, if you ever wanted to know, Seeking gives pictures of its asshole on Pokemon cards. That's the first porno Poke- well, no, I'll just stop there, y'all. I'm sorry. I know people watch this that probably aren't very old. Um, I don't know how old my followers are, so uh, I won't talk about assholes anymore. Yeah, I just said it again. Asshole. Oh, shit. Just said it again. Anyway, one, two, three, to the front, and we have a Pokemon card to take off, which is a fire energy. Could that be an omen? Will we get the card? I don't think so, but for now, we have a Purple Nerds, a Haunter, Lieutenant Surge's strategy, a Faroki playing with his bubbles, Aaron, we have a Seal, Bell Sprout. Oh, sorry. We have a Ghastly under the Bell Sprout. Happening is the reverse holographic, and the rare on the back is a crocodile. He's running at you. Even though he doesn't have the sunglasses on like in the anime, he kind of looks like he still has them on, which is kind of funny. Um, let's go on to the next pack, y'all. One more pack to open, but we actually have five more, so I just lied. Three to the front. We will take off the energy cord, and we will turn around to the gold bat. Chilling in the fountains. You know, 
Remember in the first game, if you ever played them, how in the the uh, the Silfco company in in the you know in the lobby area when you first walk in, there was the fountains. I think this Golbat is in the Silfco. So anyway, maybe that was back in the day when Team Rocket took it over. Tentacruel, Pokegear 3.0. We have a Growlithe, a Cubone, Riolu, Porygon, Inkay flying up a tree. Mistrevious is the Reverse Hollow, and the rare on the end is a Clefable. So we're hitting a dry spell right now. I really think at the beginning we were killing it. And I think that might be all we get from this side is those four really good GX cards. Um, I don't know really how it works as far as Pokemon cards go. Like in, like how the Pokemon company sorts out their rares and GX cards in the box. But I really hope the other side isn't a dud. Because I'll be really sad if we open a whole other side with no GX cards. Ultra Forest. Sandile, Meowth hugging his substitute dog, Grubbin, Geodude doing some pull-ups, a Litten the Kitten, we have an Alolan Alfalfa Diggler, and the rare on the end, everybody, will be, oh, shit, we got one, we got one, ladies and gentlemen, we did it, we got one, oh, it's not even the rainbow rare, but it's the regular one, they're pumping them out now. Oh, God, this fucker was so hard to get. Ugh. This one, in my opinion, is the f my favorite art of this one. This is my favorite art of this whole card. The other two, they're just chilling there looking at you smug. But on this one, he is using the blue flame attack, and he's using the flamethrower of some sort. I mean, they're just out for fucking blood, man. Look at this. This thing's beautiful. It's going right in the sleeve, and it'll never see the light of day again, because I don't want anything to happen to this card. There is the first one out of my collection, y'all. First one, and there will be many more to come. Just look at this thing. Holy shit. Like, this feels better than, like, I, I don't even know what. I mean, I don't even know what to compare it to. Double Blaze GX. I've never read the moves on this card. Outrage. For 30 plus, this attack does 10 more damage for each. <gasps> uh, excuse me, for each damage counter on this Pokemon. Flare Strike. This Pokemon can't use Flare Strike during your next turn. It does 230 damage. And Double Blaze GX, which is actually the name of the Japanese uh, card set, is called Double Blaze. But uh, this one, if this Pokemon has at least three extra Fire type energies attached to it. This attack does 100 more damage, and this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon. Potentially, you could destroy anything with this card. I mean, it's it's really just fitting, though, because it's, it's the mascot of the set, so it's really fitting that it would be able to kill anything else, I guess, right? I mean, that's, that's what I would think. Um, but anyway, y'all, that pull, holy shit. I mean, that's awesome. We've gotten five GX cards in one side. One side of the box, five GX cards. That never freaking happens. Cottony, Venonat, this really just gets you going, y'all. It really gets you a hard on for Pokemon cards. Porygon, Chatot in the reverse holo form. And the rare is a Salazzle, the sexy lizard lady. If I was a Pokemon trainer, I'd have her on my team for sure. And no, I would not do anything sexual with it. Why would you even think that? Just because I think it's hot doesn't mean I'd touch it. I might be lying. But anyway, here we are with the code card. We will take it off, boys and girls. Please share. I post videos every two days, so there's plenty of code cards to go around. Green's Exploration, Tyrogue, Happiny, Jigglypuff, Flower Boy Head thing, Bellsprout, Diglett, Poliwag, Rhyhorn. We have a Samson Oak, he needs some serious sunscreen. And the rare on the end is a Stack Attack of GX. This is actually another promo, or another one of the pre release cards. It would have the stamp right there. Um, a lot of my uh, people that went to the pre release thing actually got the Stack Attack and had a Stack Attack of deck, and it's actually really good. Uh, last pack magic, everybody. I completely forgot. I'm getting carried away. This is the last pack. Let's bless this pack with special magic. And we may, in fact, get a good card. 
But the only thing that can beat this opening right now, I mean, with all these cards, is a Rainbow Rare Reshiram Charger. That's the only thing that could beat this. Gloom, drooling some cum. We got a Hunter, Murkrow, Rhyhorn, Meltan, Slowpoke taking a bath in your local hot tub, Whooper, Reverse Holographic of a Hypno, and the last rare of the opening, everybody. Will it be a Rainbow Rare? We're about to find out now. We have a Wigglytuff and his friendly jiggly friends. So that's the last card of the set, y'all. That's it. Remember, we still have one more side to go. I'm not gonna open that today. I'm gonna wait another time because, I mean, if I didn't, this video would be like 40 minutes long. There's just too much commentary, too much stuff. Um, I'll save y'all the pain of sitting through a 40 minute video. So um, let us go back through our pulls so far. We have a Greninja and Zorark GX card, a Persian GX card, a Melmetal Lucario full art. God, that thing's beautiful. I really like this card art. We have a Reshiram and Charizard GX card. Suck it, y'all. Suck it, Pokemon. We got it. And the very last but not least, we have a Rainbow Rare Venomoth GX. This is a duplicate for my collection. Maybe one day I'll give some cards away when I get a lot of subscribers. You never know. Don't know if this channel will take off, but if it does, I plan to do giveaways. I have quite a few sets of the de 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 Detective Pikachu card set. Um, maybe once I hit some milestones, I'll pick some people to give away the Detective Pikachu card sets too. Because I think I have three or four full sets now. Um, but anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please like, please subscribe. Y'all have a fantastic day. Stay tuned for more Unbroken Bonds. We're finding that Reshiram Charizard Rainbow Rare. Mark my words. See y'all later.